at an event, a media event. And so CNN and all these other big uh, outlets. And I said, why do you guys lie about Africa? And I still remember this guy from CNN. He got up and he said, nobody challenges us. Mm. No, he said, nobody challenges us. And that's the truth. I saw it up close and personal, where we do not speak up. We are yelled at, we are abused, and we retreat. Why? That is true. I love you, Africa. I love you, Africa. I love you, Africa. I love you, Africa. Yeah. I love you, Africa. Okay. I love you, Africa. 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 Mentorship. I'm going to pass it back to you. We have a responsibility to pick up our children, to help them. How are they going to know if we don't work with them? So in your own locale, find young people that you can empower. Make it your personal responsibility. I was in Zimbabwe and a young man to get a place to do an internship for nine months. Couldn't find somebody to just take me. I made one phone call and the young man was in. But you mean to tell me for nine months, nobody could help this kid for free. He was going to work for free just so he could graduate. We are doing a serious disservice to our young people. So let's all elders take a personal responsibility. If a young person is in your sphere of influence, take that extra time to help, to listen, to talk to them. So mentorship is something that we must continue to repeatedly repeat and repeat and repeat and challenge us elders to look around you. What have you done to help an African youth? And by African, I mean all people of African descent who live in this world. We're all Africans. It is our responsibility to empower our youth. Let's be serious about it. Uh, well said from our mother, uh, Mama Africa, Dr. Kanachi Omboni. Wow, that we young Africa, we need to be mentored by this pan-Africanists. Because what we need from now is to unite the continent of Africa. And if we don't have a mentor or the one who tells us the truth and the real aim or the root of Africans, we will not achieve. So young Africans, we need to be told what to do or what not to do. And the real meaning of this is to tell the real story of Africans because the, the old stories that we read from the school are written by colonizers. That is not real story of Africans. The speech from Mama Africa, Dr. Rikana Chumpolikwao, I think it is good for we young Africans. Follow those uh, footsteps of our Pan-Africanist or our founding fathers. So I hope, as you heard, uh, my brothers and sisters in the last, in the first group who say they love Africa, also I'm joining them, I love Africa. And we need more Pan-Africanists in our country, in our continent to make this happen. Thank you for watching.